In the Series 300 ASCO transfer switches, this is what is considered the membrane. It is the display with functional buttons. This left section indicates the position of the transfer switch. If this light is illuminated, the transfer switch is in a normal or utility position. If the bottom light is illuminated, the transfer switch is in the emergency position. The right section indicates what sources are available. If the light is illuminated, the normal source is within tolerance levels of the parameter set for the transfer switch. The same goes for the emergency button. It is possible that both lights are illuminated at the same time. These are the three functional buttons. When you have the normal source available and your generator ready to start, push and hold the transfer test button for 15 seconds. The genset will turn on. The emergency light will illuminate. With this light illuminated, the transfer switch will transfer back over to the other emergency position. This button serves to bypass any time delays. There are two time delays that you can program. You can program a time delay from emergency to normal or from normal to emergency. To bypass these delays, press the bypass time delay button. The set engine exercise button. Press this button at the day and time you want to exercise the engine. It will repeat every seven days at the same time you originally pressed this button. This light will stay illuminated to show that the exercise has been programmed. If the engine is in use, the illuminated light will be flashing. This is the cover for your main controller in the 300 series transfer switch. It contains information such as amperage, voltage, frequency, and whether it is a single phase or three phase. This is the main control board. We will focus on three dip switches. This is S3, S1, and S2. On each dip switch, there are eight dip switches. The left indicates off, while the right indicates on. Each dip switch has different programmable parameters. The most important ones are on S3, the TDES dip switch, which means time delay emergency source. Right now it is off, but it may be switched to the on position. In S1, S1 and 2 indicate the dropout voltage for the normal source. This is a percentage. The 3 is the pickup percentage for the normal source. The 4 indicates whether the transfer switch will operate at 50 or 60 Hz. The 6 shows whether it is a single or three phase. 7 indicates whether the engine exerciser is programmed on or off. Number 8 indicates whether it will operate with or without load. This is now S2. 1 is time delay emergency normal bypass. If it is in the off position, you will not be able to bypass using the membrane shown at the beginning of this video. 2 is a retransfer from emergency. It is important to have these switched on in case of an emergency. These are the two programmable potentiometers for time delays. Timer N slash E means timer from normal to emergency. It is set to zero. 
When we transfer from normal source to emergency source, time is zero seconds. This is programmable for up to five minutes. On the right potentiometer, the timer emergency to normal for the transfer from the generator to utility can be programmed from one second to 30 minutes. This is an 1000 amp transfer switch. In this design, there is TV1 and TV2. From here, take the cables and run them up to the generator control panel. When the utility or normal source fails, the transfer switch will close these contacts to turn on your generator automatically. On the smaller transfer switches, it will be TV14 and TV15.